Hello there! Do you want to learn how to override the default pages, so confirm verification, password reset and change email of Pocketbase? In this video we will do exactly that. For that we will first configure Pocketbase to use custom pages and then we will create these custom pages. So let's go! Before we create our custom pages in SvelteKit, we have to specify in Pocketbase that we want to use our own. For this, we open the web UI, go to settings, then to mail settings, and here we will update the action URL of each template. The action URL will be app URL colon 5173 slash off slash the name of the action slash token. The actions are according to the template, confirm verification, confirm password reset and confirm email change. Next we will create the actual routes inside our SvelteKit project. We will start off with the confirm verification page. Here we have four different states. First success then failure, then when we requested a resend of the email, a success and a failure. As a first step, we will create source routes of layout.svelte and in here we specify a container that centers all its contents for the actual pages. Next, we will create a directory for for confirm verification with the token as a slug. Inside of source routes of confirm verification slash token as a slug. We will create a page.svelte and a page.server.ts file. Inside of page.server.ts we will try to verify the token on load and then return if it is a success or not. The second thing we do is evaluate the query parameters to see if we had to resend a verification request and if we need to show data based on that. Besides loading data, we also have a form action to resend the verification email in case of a verification failure. Inside the front end, we have four states based on the two variables success and resend. We will create them using if statements in different positions. For example, everywhere where success is false, we want to allow the user to resend the email and everywhere where success is true, we want to display a success message. Now we will create the password reset page. Here we have five different states. The first one, when we just come from the email to allow the user to reset the password. Then a success and a failure page. And when we requested a resend of the email, a success and a failure page. Before we create the actual page, we will create a route group called opt and inside of it create a layout.server.ts file. In the file we will request the user and make it available in the two pages that we will create next. We do that so that we can prefill the request email if possible. We will again create a directory for confirm password reset with the token as a slug. Inside of source routes of confirm password reset, token as a slug, we will create a page.swelt and a page.server.ts file. In page.server.ts we will evaluate the query parameters and return them for the front end. Meaning we check what the success value is and if an email resend was requested. Besides the load function, we have two form actions. One to reset the password and one to request the password reset email again. Both will use a pocket based function 
and then update the query parameters based on if it worked or not. These query parameters are then evaluated in the load function and made available in page.svelte. Inside the front end, we now have five states. The four states based on the two variables and then one more that checks if the success variable is set. It is not set in case that the reset has not been tried yet, meaning that we want to allow the user to reset their password in that case. Besides that, we again to show success messages when success is true and allow the user to request the email again in case success is false. The change email page is basically the same as the password reset one, just with different texts and function names that we call. The logic is the same. Therefore, we have the following page.server.ts inside of source routes of confirm email change and token as a slug. And we have the following page.svelte, which just has different texts for the five states. And with that, we've overwritten the default pages of Pocketbase. You can find the current state of our project in the repository in the description under the branch course 7. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the course so far. And if you do, please give the video a like and subscribe to my channel. Again, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.